Hello everyone and welcome to this guide for completing the Unmoored World, part of the game's true ending where you must evacuate the cities before the world is destroyed. And you only have a few in-game days in order to do this, where you can't really save the game too much because it will advance the fog and destroy the cities. There's also a few other quests including rescuing your pawn and destroying all of the red beacons. And so I'm doing all of these in order and the fog shouldn't progress any, leaving the entire map open at the end for you to explore. So we're going over all quests and achievements and trophies tied to this location. First, to unlock the unmoored world, you simply reach the end of the game and speak with this guy here, and you find yourself back on the dragon. But instead, head to the underside of it and you can use the blade to kill yourself, and you will enter the world here to get the true ending of the game. Before we begin as well, it's important to have port crystals in all the major settlements so you can avoid unnecessary travelling and fights. Plus, it's going to be a lot easier if you've completed all the side missions, especially the ones in the elven village. So let's start from when you first enter into the world. Step one, you start next to the Bay Wayside Shrine Cave and you can purchase the best gear from here. So use your Worm's Life Crystals and you can buy a weapon to get the achievement or trophy if you haven't done so. And you can stock up on the best gear you can afford. Step two, we can head from the shrine to Back Batal and head to the secret research lab and talk with Phasis to rescue your pawn. It's important that you don't really get into any fights along the way, as it's better to keep your health high for as long as possible, because it's going to be a little while before we save the game. Ah, I suspected as much, given that your pawn still remains. Far One. too long, it seems, but worry not. Now the... After you've done the quest to save your pawn called Dreams Apart, head outside of the research lab and interact with the big red beacon. You won't be able to miss it. And this will begin the quest called Scholarly Pursuit. All you have to do is follow phases around the area to reach the red dragon beacon and then destroy it. There's a bunch of enemies along the way, so just go slow and steady in order to preserve as much health as possible. If we hone our senses, no foe shall escape us. From here then we're going to travel to the seafloor shrine and start the halls of the first dawn quest where you're asked to evacuate the different towns and cities. A quick note here, if you're simply going from the guardian achievement or trophy, then you only need to evacuate three of the cities, Vernworth, Bakpatal and the Sacred Arbor. However, there are a couple more you need to evacuate if you want to get 100% completion of the Unmoored World. And so you also need to evacuate the volcanic camp and the excavation site. And there are of course other places in the game like the Nameless Village and Harvey Village, but there's no quest in order to evacuate the people from there. Step 5. Quickly get to the evacuation site as it's going to be the first to fall to the fog when it closes in. When you get here there is a golem fight, so it's a little bit tough if you're using a sorcerer like I am. But once it's defeated you will initiate the quest Shepherds of the Pawn. All you need to do is find the item in this house right here just below the inn and return it. We must needs find the key. So, the pawns were being held here by the power. Appreciate all you've done here. It is strange to think a god's way would be used to guide my brethren to safety. Step 6. Next, we're going to head to the Sacred Arbor, as this will be the one to get destroyed next. And we're going to complete first the Red Beacon, and this will mean a big boss fight. So a dragon thing will spawn, and it's not too tough if you're high enough level, it just takes a while to kill, as you need to destroy all of its weak spots. And all of your pawns are pretty useless in this fight, they just spend most of their time doing nothing, which is why it takes a while to do. After this is done, head inside and speak with Talisin and ask him to evacuate. Now if you haven't done so yet, you're going to need to complete the Arbor Heart questline, and that should have been done before you get to the ending, although you can quickly do it now if you want to, and I have a guide already on my channel for this quest, so check it out if you want to, it's called the Ailing Arbor Heart. And once it's done, you can evacuate the area. To 
no small feat to hone one's skills so fine. Step seven then, with two red beacons done, you can safely sleep right now and save your game. The cloud should not move as you've destroyed enough of the beacons to add a couple more days on. And the reason I chose now to sleep is because you don't want to sleep too early. As if you die and you need to reload from your last in save, then you'd have to repeat everything that we just did. And so this is kind of a halfway point of the unmoored world. And you can't make too many saves because the fog will progress. So this is about the best time to save. Step 8 then, let's head to the Red Beacon outside of Vernworth and complete the boss fight. Efficiency at its best. Once more. Again, just like the other one, it's not a tough fight, but it does take a little while to destroy all of the weak points. Tis heartening to think that the peril has passed by our efforts, if only for a time. Now you can head to the castle in Vernworth and speak with Sven, who starts to quest Regent Kin's Resolve. Bring the ornate box to Sven, and you can sort out the ox carts as well. It's not a tough quest to do. So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. Have you come to claim my... But I shall go to the grave. So do as you will. Wait, this is my son. Your kindness will say... My son, your kindness will save many lives. As long as I get my gold, who take... We have chartered the ox carts as requested. Step 9, let's head to the beacon at the volcanic camp and complete that. Again, it's another similar boss fight and it won't be too tough. Let's reduce us to centers. After that's done, you can head to the volcanic camp and start the importance of aiding Ernesto, and you have to walk all the way to bring back the couple from the camp. Again, you should have done their quest from when you first meet them before I'll getting to the ending. That. Besides, after all that. Oh, very well. Would you be so kind as to us? Let us see our charges to the encampment. <laughs> Would you find Ser Would you find Serenesto? Sir, I implore you to re- How many times must I say- Now bugger off and leave- Ah, good. I'm afraid there's another matter for which I must- It concerns the fellow I- Sir Lamond is as mighty as a hundred soldiers. It would be reassuring to have his aid. Shall we speak with him? You have my support. Fancy meeting ye here, cuz, as I see fit. I'll not be ordered about by anyone. Oh, bollocks. Of course ye'd make a dick. Aye, fine. I'll do it. Can't say I'll be glad to leave this place behind. But you've my... Come with me. The people of Volcanic Island are evacuated. May they make it through the impending chaos intact. Step 10. Complete the back battle evacuation by doing civil unrest. And to do it, simply watch the first couple battle. Giving the circumstances. True enough. Well, sir, what say you? Will you watch over us while I take the sky? You have my gratitude, sir. How about you? Offer the second couple child a piece of food, and it can't be rotten or else you'll fail. If that's what you I clear off. You said it's bad to hurt people. Oh, thanks, sir. The 
desire to protect one's kin transcends race and culture. Lastly, simply attack the last pair but make sure not to kill them. After that, you can complete the rest of the mission and that will be all five settlements evacuated. Step 11. So now we have done the settlements, let's finish off the Red Beacons. What you need to do is go to where the Gigantis boss fight was, in the volcanic area. It's already marked on your map. And a cutscene will play when you arrive here, and this will start the quest when wills collide. After watching the fight, the final Red Beacon will appear on your map, and you'll get a trophy or achievement for completing the quest. After you travel for a little longer, a cutscene will show, and you'll get the achievement or trophy for the hero as well. Step 12. You're now free to do whatever you want as all the quests in the Unmoored world are done without having progressed the fog at all. You can spend your time grinding for XP and worm life crystals. You can spend your crystals at the vendor who is no longer in the Bay Wayside Shrine but is in the Seafloor Temple next to the Port Crystal. Lastly, if you want to reach New Game Plus from here, then you can activate the final red beacon in the Seafloor Temple. But guys, that is a complete walkthrough of the Unmoored world and getting 100% completion of all the quests and getting all the achievements and trophies related to this area. Plus, we didn't progress a frog any, so you're free to explore for quite a long time in order to do whatever you want here. Like and subscribe for more guys then. My next game will be Stellar Blade and of course Elden Ring in a few months. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.